This video is gonna show you how I use ChatGPT to come up with a perfect converting offer to sell high level to small businesses, so stick around. All right, so like the intro said, we're gonna use ChatGPT to come up with a high level offer to sell to small businesses. As you can see, I'm right here on ChatGPT. I'm gonna start with a single prompt. Now, the purpose why I came up with this prompt is I've noticed that a lot of people in my community might have a hard time coming up with something to sell, right? Coming up with a specific offer to sell to small businesses. So using this prompt, you'll be able to find out exactly what features to include and exactly how to price your product by using this prompt here. And that prompt looks like this, right? It says, I need a list of local type businesses that still use radio to advertise. Ideally, their sales process looks like this. Customer sees an ad, calls or goes to a website to get a quote, and then they set a sales appointment to get an estimate. Once they agree on a service and price, they get paid using contracts and invoices. Please give me 30 different businesses. Now, this is where I want you to include in every single prompt. It says, please think about why you included it in the list and tell me the reasoning behind why it was included before moving on to the next business. What you're gonna get is rather than just getting a list, you're gonna get a list with a couple little paragraphs of explanation. You don't actually have to use this word for word. What you can do is I want you to do is I want you to have a list of, of local type businesses. Again, if you're selling to local, local service businesses, use local type businesses. If you're selling to digital businesses, go I need a list of digital type businesses, right? That's gonna be the first kind of lever here in this prompt. And then what I also want you to do is to think about how your dream client is already advertising. They could be going to local fairs and festivals. They could be using local TV commercials. I just happened to pick radio for this example that currently advertise on social media. This is another lever is basically using what they use to advertise. So it's type of business and what they're currently doing to advertise. Those are the two variables here that you can change. Now you also want to describe the sales process, right? What's the type? What does their business look like of the person that you want to work with? Right? I would want to work with someone who sees an ad, right? They're not necessarily creating organic content, but if somebody says, right, the business creates organic content, you would put it in there. And then they're going to go to a website and get a quote. They set a sales appointment to get an estimate. And once they agree upon a service and price, they get paid using contracts and invoices. So what I'm doing here is I'm just describing their sales process and how they get paid. And if you notice, I'm kind of naming all of the high level features that I'm comfortable working with in the prompt itself. So they go to a website. I can build a high level website, getting a quote. I know how to do the uh, the documents and invoices inside of high level, right? Then they, then they set a sales appointment. We have a calendar inside of high level. And then once they get, we have contracts and invoices here to get paid, right? These are all things that high level can do. And we know, so we know that these businesses can actually use our services. And again, watch what happens when I do the think about why you included it in the list. Tell me the reasoning why it was included before you get into the next business. Well, we're gonna come into here, we're gonna hit enter. I'm gonna watch chat G GPT do its thing. There's probably gonna be some cut here. That's gonna show the list when we are done because I'm not gonna have you sit here in silence. All right, and after ChatGPT doing its thing, we actually now have a list of 30 different businesses follow the sales process that we outlined above. And the reason why we do this is that when everybody's basically coming into high level, I see everyone kind of go right to the home services niche, right? Your plumbers, your carpenters, your painters, right? The home services that everyone can think of off the top of their head. The reason why I'm coming here to chat GPT is I want it to maybe uncover a niche that maybe I haven't thought about before, but that still happens, it's still out there, there's still business and there's still demand. This is gonna help you get into maybe a little bit less competitive of a niche. Because if everyone thinks of, oh man, I'm gonna get plumbers off the top of my head, there's thousands of high level agencies going after plumbers, but there might only be a couple dozen going after, you know, a less well-known niche. So we'll come down here, we're gonna go through the list and there was one that actually, while I did this before, there's one that kind of stood out to me. And as we come down the list, we can look at some of of these niches that maybe again you might not have thought of in the, in the first place so everyone thinks of home remodeling roofing right hvac i've seen that in the group all the time pest control i see that occasionally plumbing okay everyone goes after plumbers there's a big solars in there landscaping fine gutter installation i don't see a whole lot of gutter people in the group right we've got window replacement tree removal moving companies right as we come down here there was one uh painters waterproofers right insulation is not something that i've seen talked about inside of the high level community so if you've got a bunch of insulators. That's a trade. That's a niche. You can work inside of that niche. Carpet cleaning. I haven't seen anybody talk about carpet cleaners inside of the high level group. And the one that stood out to me as I did this before was actually home cleaning services. I have not seen a whole lot of people targeting this niche, but I know that the home cleaning business is a large niche. And to confirm this, we're going to go over to Google and we're going to say, how many home cleaning businesses are there in the U.S.? 
Come into here, it looks like there's 345,000 residential cleaning service businesses in the US as of 2023. Really, we only need about 100 to have a really nice business. So this is enough people for us to go after. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay here on Google, or open up a new tab on Google, and we will say best home cleaning business software, and we want to add Captera here on the end. And the reason why we use Captera is because it's a software directory that it groups, I think it's 15,000 different softwares. And what that's gonna do is it also breaks them down by niche and by industry. So you'll be able to see who your closest competitors are gonna be, how they price their software, what their offers are, and more importantly, how you stack up against the people that your customers are already looking at and are already being marketed to buy. What I wanna do is I wanna to get to the best house cleaning apps. I wanna come here and it should drop me onto a list. And when you click on the Captera ad, it has to be the ad, not necessarily the organic result. You're going to get a list like this, which I absolutely, absolutely love because what's gonna happen is they also, one, you've got all the people that your customer, all of your house cleaners are probably gonna be looking at all of these types of softwares. But you also see this key features. This is a list of all the features that are important to your house cleaners. And while having a list of all of your competitors is nice, we can do competitive research. But what you also I like to do is this key feature little bar here that has 12 key features. These are the features that all of the house cleaners are looking for in their software solution. And this basically just becomes a punch list for you to give them on high level. And now we're gonna go through it and see if we can actually accommodate all 12 of the key features that Captera is telling us house cleaners like to have in their software. So we can come over here, we look at reporting and statistics. We can do that with high level. Recurring appointments, we can do that with high level. Billing and invoicing, yes. SMS messaging, yes. Automated scheduling, yes. Mobile access, yes. Quotes, yes. Dispatch management. If you build a second calendar, you can do that with high level. It's, it requires a little bit of creativity, but you can do that. You can uh, do dispatch management. Uh, service history, yes, you can pull it up in the customer record. Time tracking, I've seen people do it. It might require a plugin, but you can integrate some time tracking software into high level. And then multi-location, if you're giving them multiple sub accounts, absolutely you can do that as well. So we know we can get at least 10 of the 12 features. And if we get a little bit creative, we can hit all of the 12 features. Now I know exactly what I need to create in my offer to sell to house cleaning businesses. And to double check and kind of see how I want to price it, I wanna go ahead and I wanna actually click on some of these and see how they are pricing their jobs out. All right, so what I've done now is I've actually opened a bunch of these up here in different tabs. And what I'm doing, so I wanna go through their website and kind of see what features are included and at what price point. That way I can price competitively in the market and I'm not pricing myself too cheap. They're anywhere from here, they're about $100 billed monthly, which is, which is on the cheap side. But again, there's probably some features that we can add with our high level offer to make it a little bit more competitive so we're not in that $100 a month range. Now looking at House Call Pro, they're here at about $129 a month. Because again, you're not gonna get all of the features that Captera lists on their basic plan. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna look at their, look at one of their more expensive plans. Looking at their about 300 to $500 a month, which is kind of where I would like to be in terms of creating an offer for a business. And seeing service fusion here between three and $500 a month, actually that's on the annual. If we go to the monthly, they're anywhere between 350 to 575 per month, which is going to be where I want to play inside of the SaaS only, no agency, right? We're not doing any kind of ads management or anything like that. I wanna be in this kind of, uh, in this range here in terms of pricing which is good. If there's other people at that price point, that three to $500 a month or that 200 to $500 a month, if there's people in that range, that means that businesses are willing to pay the money. And now once I've confirmed that I can actually play in the same price point that I want to as the rest of my competitors, I wanna actually go back to the Captera page and look at some of the ratings that are here. Look at some of the reviews. So let's go into Service Fusion. And when I'm looking at the reviews, I don't necessarily want to only look at the good reviews, right? We want to know what the customers are liking about the SaaS, but you also want to look at the cons, right? What are people, what are the bad reviews saying? Because what this is going to do is this is going to give you a hook in your advertising when you go to market it. Because there's a lot of people that have the same pain point. You could speak right to that pain point and you maybe get people to switch from one software over to yours. And now what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go through the one and two star reviews and look for common pain points that you can overcome with high level. And these are going to become hooks and openers in your ads, in your content to try to attract your ideal customers. And after we've done all of that, it's just a matter of putting the offer together and getting it out there into the marketplace. We have found an industry, we've found competitors, we've found the features that the people using our competitors want 
and we also know what the pain points are of the people currently using our competitors. If you wanna go deeper on this, I've actually put a free course down in the description and in the comments of the video, show you how to set up your high level account and how to actually build out your offer once you've got this research done. And if you wanna watch more right here on YouTube, check out one of the videos up here in the corners. I'll see you in one of these videos.